Hi, we just finished meeting for intonation practice on December 1st, 2021. We started with a very short question. Do you mind if I sit here? Do you mind if I sit here? Because it's a yes, no question. It goes up at the end. And mind and sit are the most important. Mindify. Mindify sit will all be connected. Do you mind if I sit here? We can always count on David. So this is good that it involves um, can because the word can as a positive gets shortened to just kin. We can. We can always. And the N will connect to the, oh, I didn't write that. We can always count on, and this connects to the O, um, David. We can always count on David. So you don't have to say the T and count. You can. You can say count on and connect it. But because the T is between an N and another O-N, you can just hold it in the N-T position. Count on. We can always count on David. And instead of a perfect your, you can make it shorter and say your. And um, your ass will connect. You're asking for it. So you're asking for it. You're asking for it. For it will connect. You're asking for it. For a while, McDonald's became something of a third rail. Fora will connect. For a while, McDonald's became something of a. So instead of something where your tongue goes high in the back and makes an ing, you can say something and when you're going to connect it to a word after it, you don't use the ing in the back. You use an in that's not a perfect in in the front. It's more of the middle. Something, so something, something nova, something nova. Instead of a perfect of, it changes to just a. Uh. So now the in will connect to the a, uh, and the v from of will connect to the next a. Something nova, something nova. Something of a third rail. For a while, McDonald's became something of a third rail. At night, I heard a noise and my blood ran cold. Herd will connect. Noise and, but it doesn't have to if you take a pause. Um, and blood ran. You could say blood ran, dran, or not. Blood ran. I don't think I did. At night, I heard a noise and my blood ran cold. Her sardonic humor doesn't go over very well with everyone. Her sardonic humor doesn't go over. This one, go over, we, you make your lips very small for the go, and they're already in a small position for the next O, so it makes kind of an invisible W, go over. Very well with everyone with everyone will connect. Her sardonic humor doesn't go over very well with everyone. My husband's job's really, oh, my husband's, <laughs> my husband's job's really hectic this time of year. I had to <laughs> really focus on going up on only jobs and hectic. Hectic, I put over here because um, um, we did talk about blood using the uh vowel. It's spelled with two O's, but it sounds like uh. Hectic. This Both of these C's sound like K's, but you don't release the K and say hectic. You won't hear k at all. It's just heck. Your tongue goes up in the back. Hectic. So um, my husband's job's really hectic this time of year. This time of year, instead of saying of, you can just say a, uh, and the M will connect to the, I didn't mark that either, <laughs> time of uh, year. So this time of year, get more lazy this time of year, this time of year. Without further ado, let me introduce today's speaker. Oh, I went up on introduce. Without further ado, let me introduce today's speaker without further ado. Let me, instead of a perfect let me, don't say the T and just let me, let me. And instead of an O and introduce, make it an uh because it's not stressed. Introduce. 
without, I don't make a T, without further ado, let me introduce, introduce or introduce today's speaker. Just keep your S going, today's speaker. Don't make the Z on today's, today's speaker. 11 has a lot of L's. This was for some L practice, which now that I'm looking at it on row 11, they look like L's. I received an email from Mary telling me she does not feel well and needs special help. I received Dan Connect's email from Mary telling me she does not, does not feel well. And I, I took the D off of and because we don't need to say it and needs and needs special help. That's it. I received an email from Mary telling me she does not feel well and needs special help. I'm an early bird. <laughs> this all connects. I'm an early bird. So it will really sound like I'm an early bird. And now it sounds like we've made a new kind of bird, a early bird. <laughs> I'm an early bird. If you're not an early bird, somebody who likes to wake up early, you're then you might be a night owl. So I will go back to number 13. <laughs> I'm a night owl. Owl um, connects to night owl. I'm a, I'm a night owl. And I hate milk. <laughs> we were talking about the dark L in milk. Um, and if you used it in a sentence, I hate, you don't have to release the T. I hate milk. You don't also have to release the K either. Milk. Just hold it. I hate milk. This kind of L is a dark L, meaning, <laughs> I don't know why it's called dark L, but instead of a clear or light or just normal L, which is touching behind the top teeth, L, this kind of L can be made with more of the middle of the tongue touching the middle of the mouth and the tongue tip can stay down behind your bottom teeth. So besides closing my lips for the M, I can hold my tongue down in the front and still make those, the word milk. Milk, ilk, milk, milk. Sounds better without my finger in my mouth, but the the key is that the air is still coming out the sides of the tongue. Oh, milk. So in feel well, this is two separate words, but because the L in feel is before the W in well, it's the same situation where the dark L happens when it's before a, a consonant. So I'm going to use feel well, uh, dark L in both of those, and you won't hear a difference. There's not a big difference in how they sound. Oh, oh, one was dark, one was light. So don't worry about finding the perfect position and thinking it needs to sound different, it doesn't. And if you feel more confident making your L in the front all the time, go for it. It's just a sh easier, it's a shortcut to make it the middle of your tongue. So until you feel more confident that you're still pronouncing the word well using the dark L, just keep using the light L. You'll, As you get more confident, you can get more lazy. <laughs> um, the last thing we worked on was this game called Mad Gab. And it's not an English learning game. It's just a game for people that like to play with words. Um, the point is, let me find the exact one that we used. I didn't put them back in order, the order that we used them in. <laughs> oh, well. The cards look like this. Um, so they have, there's, there's one you can turn it over and have another one, and then there's more on the back. <clears throat> so you get lots of words. Um, but looking at this, these two words don't have anything in common, and they don't have any meaning. But if you say them connecting, continuously moving your tongue, not stopping, and you kind of get a little lazy with it, you can hear that it might have a real sound. So in this case, assured hid, assured hid. Assure did it the the real answer is on the the top in the back and I'll put it down here assured hid I I sure did so it's close enough it's not making it exactly assured hid 
I sure did. <laughs> so we did pose doll, pose dolls. Oh, this was her. I took the H off because um, when you have a pronoun with an H, he, him, his, her, um, you can get rid of the H. So pose dolls her fizz. Pose dull or fizz. Pose dull or fizz. Pose dull or pose dull service. Pose dull service. Pose dull service. Just a um, moment. Just a um, moment. Just a moment. Assured hid. I sure did. So, if you're wondering what word nerds do for fun, <laughs> they talk about words. <laughs> Oh, that's it. I'm glad you could come if you did. And if you didn't, I hope you can another time. Um, thanks. See you next time.